Usually in the morning, I wake up with my hair looking like this. I never know what to do. My bangs are too long. I can't really put them behind my ears. They're just pretty much like impossible to maintain. So honestly, this hairstyle has been my go-to. A lot of people have requested it, so I thought I would film this for you guys. Usually I start off by just brushing the top of the hair and then I decide where exactly I want it. I always like the bottom half to look full so I don't take too much off the top. But I'll show you guys how to make it look so that the bun isn't super flat and kind of sad. <laughs> so first I'm just making sure that they're kind of even, that the pieces go in front of my ears. Sometimes I like to do it behind my ears but other times I don't. So I'm just going to brush this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. There are some where I like them really tight and perfect but I use a different brush for that. But for this one, it's just going to be kind of average. So I'm taking a small rubber band and I'm using that to tie it. Um, the rubber band should be tiny because it's just easier to kind of layer on top and it doesn't have to be uh, so bulky. At this point, you can decide too if you wanted to wave or curl out the bottom sections. It's kind of easy because you don't have to do the whole head. So I also just wanted to quickly show you that you can also take more pieces from the bottom and bring it up so that the bun is a little bit thicker. Um, or if you want to just have less hair on the bottom section. So I just wanted to show you this really quick just so you can see it. But for me, it looks kind of funny. My hair is not that full, so I need more hair at the bottom sections. Going back to the bun. So I, again, I want the hair to be a little bit thicker. So I do have to backcomb it very gently and lightly with a brush. If you wanted to make it really, really big, you can do, totally add extensions. But for me, I tried it once. It didn't look right. I didn't do it right. And I just never did it again. So um, all I'm doing is just pretty much looping the section of hair and then pay, putting the base of the hair to the base of my head and clipping it down. It's actually not that crazy, um, but this is what I do. So I just like take three sections, then I kind of loop them together. It makes it look more full, and um, you can also manipulate and just pin down any extra pieces. Because my hair is layered, I need to do this a whole lot. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. So this is the first look. It's done. Another version you can do is pretty much the same thing, um, but you're just loosening up the bits of the hair. This makes your hair look like, like you're, you have wavy hair or it's very full. Um, it's a great way to kind of like manipulate and fake the fullness of your hair. And you can also brush it up and add hairspray. So this is one of my favorite ones. I like this one if I'm feeling like very sleek. So what I usually do is pull it up a little bit tighter and then I actually end up um, tying it with two rubber bands just so that the, that the hair looks like it's tighter up on the bun. So make sure that you're actually having multiple rubber bands to just, to, just to make it look tighter. And then what I just do is literally just grab all the hair and spin it and twist it and then just kind of manipulate it. I like it when it's small and like tight and almost tall because it kind of just looks funky and I like when little bits of hair like this pokes up. I also typically will straighten my hair down, but my straightener is out of order, so I'm gonna have to get a new one, but that's what I would have done with this look. Um, and it's really just one of the easiest ways to make your hair look like it's put together and that you put a lot of effort into it. As you can see guys, all of these looks are very simple to complete. It's just a little bit of variation that makes it look super special and cool. I hope you guys liked it. Bye.